We're starting a new series today called Moms on the Run. Today we're talking about three hairstyles that will get you out the door really fast. And the reason I need this is I have three kids right now and number four on the way. Look at, like, bam! Literally due in nine days and I don't even know if we're gonna make it that far. Basically what I'm trying to say is I usually don't have time to do my hair and when I don't do it, it's just in a top knot all day long. So I'm going to share a couple things that I can do really quick to get me out the door and look a little bit more pulled together than rolling out of bed, which if that happens, it's okay too. Okay, my first tip is really just how to get some curls in your hair super fast. Um, I love the look of like soft waves, but I don't always like spending 30 minutes, even with a wand, like going through all kinds of pieces. So here's this tip. Just put your hair in a ponytail. It can be messy or whatever because you're not keeping it in a ponytail. You don't want to pull it too tight so you don't get that crimp in your um, hair, whatever this is called, hair. <laughs> and then, oh wait. So I'm using a wand, which is awesome. I used to use a curling iron as a wand. And when I switch to a real wand, it works way better. But use a glove. If yours comes with a glove, I'm using the Numi ones and they come with a glove. Sometimes just because I'm in a hurry, I skip this step and then regret it. I've burnt myself like two out of the five times that I've done it and then it hurts. Now that your hair is in a ponytail, really you can split it up into two or three chunks. That's it. And wrap the wand. So we're going to hold it just a little bit longer than you would if you were doing smaller pieces. So I haven't been counting, but 10 seconds is a good one. Usually with the wand, it's only about five to eight seconds that you're holding it for. So I think that's 10. Let's try that. Gives it a little bit of curl. And then we're just gonna do another chunk out of my three chunks. But I'm still not counting, so I have no idea how long this is. <laughs> but, so I have that second chunk wrapped around the wand and let it go. And I have a third piece over here. And now that they're curled, we can take the ponytail out without having to go through and curl all of the pieces. So, tip number one. My phone keeps going off. It's my <laughs> husband. I'll check it later. <laughs> I hope he's not watching. Hairstyle number two is probably going to be the easiest to do because it's just really easy. But this is something I love to do, especially when my hair is dirty, which happens often because I only wash it a couple of times a week, so towards the end of that time. Um, this one is my go-to hairstyle. It kind of gives you that fun feeling, which means it gets the hair that comes into my face, off my face, which is sometimes what I really like when I'm running around with kids, but I still have some hair down, so it just makes me feel a little more pulled together. Um, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing, huh? <laughs> so first, it's really just gathering a section of hair on top of your head. We're gonna leave a lot down, but it's just gathering a section on top. I just pull a little bit of hair through a ponytail, twist the ponytail holder, and pull it about halfway back through. And it looks a little cray cray right now, but we're gonna use this whole part, strand of hair, and wrap it. And then literally we're just pinning some pins, little bobby pins, into those pieces. Kinda, kinda, actually like this. We're just gonna spread it out and pull it down. So a messy look is totally fine like this. To be honest, the messier the better. Some days I like to spread it out and make it really big. <laughs> so it makes a bigger statement. Some days I like it a little bit smaller. And really, that's it. Now, if I want to, I might add a little bit of curl like if I have my wand on. Again, we're gonna use a glove. Um, I might add a little bit of curl this way and a couple of the pieces around my face, just to give that some more, I guess, like depth and dimension, and do it on both sides. And that's it, I can run out the door, I can lay 
Amanda all day long and I can feel dressed up or dressed down, but it's simple. I think the baby is kicking. She's moving around. It's like, whoa. She's like, do my hair, mom. Yep. She's ready. She's ready for <laughs> hairstyles. I hope she has hair. I mean, early. <laughs> so Basically, this is another one that gets your hair out of your face, but it still looks a little put together. It's down in the back. Um, I will say that dry shampoo is a lifesaver. So if you're like me and you're running short on time and you want some quick hairstyles, use dry shampoo because that'll make this not look greasy and that way you can leave it down, but you can still get your hair out of your face by getting this out of your face. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick side braid. And it's gonna kind of be French braid style, even though I can't French braid, really. But we're gonna split your hair into the three pieces like a braid. And basically what this means is each time you have a strand that comes down towards your face, you're gonna grab it with a little bit more hair from like this bang section. Group it together and then do another braided twist. Pulling it pretty tight. So here's another piece. This third strand is down by my face, so I'm gonna grab a little bit more hair. We're gonna braid it backwards now, towards the back. So I have my three strands, and I'm just gonna continue braiding these pieces. I'm not gonna grab any new hair. I'm just gonna braid it towards the back of my head a little bit. When I think I'm good, I'm gonna go ahead and just on this top part, pull it a little bit looser just to make it a bigger braid. Just makes it show up a little bit more. And then, I'm gonna use a bobby pin and just pin it back here and put some of the hair over it. So you can do it a few different ways, but basically, that's it. It's got all of this bang area out of your face, out of your way, so you can play with your kids, you can cook, you're not always having to just Move your hair because again when that happens it's just in a top knot all day long. You can still end up pulling this in a ponytail or braid it or do whatever you want with it, do a bun. All of that looks cute but you just have this cute braid on top that will hold your bangs in place. <laughs> You're still going. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to see you trying these hairstyles. So if you snap a picture, um, throw it up on Twitter or Instagram and tag me at Tabitha Blue, I would love to see it. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe. We've got more fun. <laughs> Bugs, Bugs flying around our heads. <laughs> Make sure to give it a like and subscribe. We've got more fun Mom on the Run tip videos coming up that will make your life easier and things that are mundane faster. So, I will see you next time. Bye.